my name's Mark, welcome back to the shop, and today we are about to shoot down that fucking aeroplane. Motherfucker. Any road. My name's Mark, welcome back to the shop, and today we are looking at the second piston from Rich Richards Roberts. That's piston from his five piston collection and this is the second little beauty we have and this is from a Husqvarna 125 um, obviously it is a two stroke and it is looking like shit so we've had a four point uh, seize, heat seize here, here, here and slightly there so we can see that it's really weird because uh, I was going to say it's really weird, but that's pretty fucking horrific. And this is on the import side. Um, the crown itself, when we look at the crown itself, you cannot really see much. However, there has been some slight detonation in this piston. And I'll show you how I can tell in a second. But, um, when we look at the rest of the piston, you can see we've got some serious galling all the way up you can tell it's really bad when you start hitting the piston crown there and obviously there and it's just started to rub the shit out of this piston lovely you can see a slight slight bit of abrasion there where piston slap has started to take place but this had bigger problems i.e. a massive fucking heat seize uh, I'm trying to see if we can see anything else inside the bosses for the wrist pin not really, he's put both circlips back in which is a bit weird, yeah do what you want now then what we can see is you can see that the score marks actually match up with the piston ring now what's happened is, is because this has there's two things that could have possibly happened I actually think it's a, uh, a bit of detonation um, that was it had started to take place as this thing was starting to heat seize and the reason why I think so is let me see if I can bring you in closer which one is it? it's that one so if we bring you in closer here you can see that this let me get this ring out you can see that the piston, the, the ring the piston pin is quite recessed in there this little piston pin here we've got you there yeah. it's quite recessed in there, it's not actually too bad actually looking at the overlap of the spring it might actually be quite right so there's nothing really wrong with the ring the ring looks like you'd expect it to look but it's just a simple uh, four point C's is this things just got too hot it's just started to overcook it Unfortunately, actually, it's probably done a fucking ni nice number on the cylinder. But apart from that, the piston is it's in alright nick, actually. You know, like I say, there's a bit of wear equal on both sides of the piston slap. That's kind of common. I'm trying to see if I can see any signs of any stress on the wrist plane bosses, any discoloration on the inside of the surfaces nothing like that, it's just had a fucking bad day out is this one it's nice quite even exactly where it is um, on the actual piston itself on this side it's a bit lopsided apart from that that's pretty uh, pretty bad when you open it up and you look at that you go oh fucking hell like I say it's probably done a, a, a nice number on his um, probably done a nice number on his cylinder you'll notice as well that there's, you can see there's this weird shape oh let me zoom back out again you can see that there's this weird shape where there's more material here on this side than there is on the piston skirt here this is generally because it helps to reduce piston slap but also you want more, more metal in this region because this side of the piston will get hotter because when we turn it this way you can see that your exhaust arrow is on this side so you can see that there's actually 
um, a bit more material and if you look at this end you can actually see that there's a bit more material-ish, only slightly, but there's more material on this side than there is this side. So this also helps. Um, basically the more meat, the more heat it can soak into this side because this is the hotter side. So yeah, quite a nice looking fucked piston, that's quite cool. And uh, that's all I have on this one and I'll see you in a bit.